Okay, starting this week off strong, going to Target first, seeing what they got. All right, hoping for something good. Let's see what we got. Oh, what's this, Triceratops? On clearance, $13.99. Dang, okay, heck yeah. And here is the new Hammond collection. We got Arnold and then Robert as well. So I might pick up one of those, but it looks like they upped the price to $14.99 instead of that $12.99 that they were at. So maybe I'll wait a little bit, see if there's a sale or maybe they'll go on clearance. Looks like they also have the new Edley Sattler set. So it's the Jeep. It has the stripe on it this time. And uh, let's see how she looks. She has her coat on. And so she looks just like a standard sculpt that we've already have, uh, but just with that little coat on. So that's pretty cool. I might wait for a, a sale. And then check this out. The new Indoraptor. Wow. Look, the. I don't know if you can tell, but the color scheme looks different. Like it looks like a shinier, like almost like pearlescent type of blue blue black it looks actually really good nothing new as far as micro galaxy goes looks like they got rid of some of the other series one ships so i was hoping to see some series two i've seen them popping up at other people's posts and targets but nothing yet over here in my end we still have a bunch of slave ones over here so those might actually hit a clearance same story for black series same old stuff and then they just got in these new Boba Fetts, but they want $33 for these. So, I mean, nobody's really gonna be paying for these. Even if it is Boba Fett on this new card, that's still pretty pricey. Still some Axe, TVC, Lando, Mando stuff. I'm gonna wait for a clearance on this Ned. Let's see what AEW has. Always give those a good look. I got some friends that are really into AEW chases and stuff like that. So if I can help them out, then they usually help me out with other chases as well. All right, check out this clearance. So Lego sets, I rarely see Lego sets on clearance, but that one says repack and this one just says as is and it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but $49 and the original price is a hundred. I think that's a pretty good deal. It says the same exact thing as is. I don't see anything wrong with it. I wonder why these are on clearance. Maybe just because the holiday season's over. But that's wild. I might pick up one of these and have Ken open it up. So I'm gonna show you something. This is the older Indoraptor, and then look at that one compared to the new one. I love that color scheme. I mean, that looks really good compared to this one. So I'm gonna probably wait for a sale on this and pick it up just because I like the way that this looks. Since they've already released it, I mean, it should hit a clearance at some point, I would imagine. Pokemon's getting some new stock, so it looks pretty good. They sold out of those Corduroy plush over there. Um, so the, these are the new environmental packs. So these are 15 bucks, $16, so these are pretty cool. There's actually a few different ones. They have one with Zubat, Tyrant, Horsey, and then we also have the Bulbasaur one. So these are actually pretty cool pieces. I'm still waiting for them to get those single packs of like Magmar, Electabuzz, and stuff like that here, but no sign yet. Marvel Legends has some newer stuff. It's a bunch of those what if figures. So some Red Skull and stuff like that. And like this looks like zombie Iron Man. <laughs> That's pretty cool actually. So not too sure how much people want those, but they're here. That leads us into Halo. So it looks like they got a restock of Spartan collections. There's Spartan Yori right there. We have some Junes. It looks like Chief and another Enigma. And here's those two packs. And then obviously the ODST drop pods. Let's just check to make sure that there's no those two packs. So we're waiting on these Series 6 two packs. I mean, hopefully those are hitting sooner than later. So very looking forward to those. I will take it. Jax is pretty stocked. They've really uh, restocked a lot of their stuff. So it looks like we have some newer sets over here. Um, so waiting for the Super Mario Bros. movie merch to come out. So I'm excited to see those. And this is the new, the new like supersonic stretchy uh, Gujitsu. So this is the first time I've ever seen this. So that's pretty cool, pretty neat. Okay, I just had an employee scan these to see if there's gonna be more. And he said there's six in the back. So let's hope it's series two.
Oh, baby. Wow. I already have too many of these. Gonna just leave it for the next collector. That Target had a lot going on, which was awesome to see. Getting some new stuff on the shelves, so that was great. Still no sign of Series 2 Micro Galaxy Squadron. All the gunships were gone. That Target employee was nice enough to go in the back, pull out a box for me, and let me go through it. Unfortunately, it was still Series 1 of Micro Galaxy Squadron. I did find that chase, which was actually a pretty cool thing to see, to be able to open up a case and then find a chase in it. Unfortunately, it was one that I found. That'll prob probably be my fifth time that I found that, so I just left that for the next collector. Okay, it is Friday. Just left Walmart, didn't have anything there. So, looks like the same stock from Jurassic. Hot Wheels are empty like normal. So it does look like they restocked the Grand Army of the Republic. So the Coruscant Guard gunship. We have the Chrome Bomber here. And then, oh, the Separatist Nightmare there. Awesome. That's good. They didn't have those stock before, so... Black Series looks the same. Nothing new or interesting. Halo pretty much looks the same. They have more of these double pack Spartan collections right there. They have one last ODST drop pod. Looking over at Mario, nothing new. They have these new Gujitsus, Supersonic, which are awesome. Some little Sonic plush over here. And then finally, some more Pokemon figures. Some Piplup Pops. So these are new, these Dungeons and Dragons. They have the windowless packaging, which I am not a fan of. Illustrations look not great. So. Hmm. They have the guy from Detective Pikachu. I don't know who that is. And another one of her. Here's some G.I. Joes. They all look the same. I know people have been finding Ronaldo, but he doesn't look like he's here. And here's some more Dungeons and Dragons stuff, like play sets and cubes and dice and all that. Looks like they've restocked Legos quite a bit. Still don't see that Nissan GTR, the Skyline from Fast and the Furious. So hopefully that comes sometime soon. That Batman Lego set looks pretty cool. Some more Avatar Legos, some City Builders. Here's some more Legos on this side. This is like more Super Mario, some Jurassic, Minecraft, and some Harry Potter sets. Some more Star Wars over here. I do like the way this Dagobah one looks, but I probably won't pick that up. And this set looks new. We have Mace Windu in the 187th Legion. Okay, that's pretty cool. Comes with, what, five, four minifigures and then two battle droids. That's pretty cool. Made it back home. That was a great haul this week. I was actually surprised to see as much new stuff that was on the shelves. So the first thing I picked up was the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Original price, $20. Got it for $13.99. So again, I love these Hammond Collection figures. They're just really good. And honestly, herbivores like this are like the army builders of dinosaurs. So this was an instant grab for me. I am a big fan of Lego, but it's not what I primarily show on this channel. So I did find these Lego sets on clearance. They were half off. Originally $100. Bucks. Got them for $49 each. If you know anything about Lego, then you know that sets don't go on clearance very often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on this for a few years, wait till my daughter gets older, and then we can open this up around Christmas time. They also had this elf clubhouse, which looks super fun. I mean, there's a bunch of little elves, there's a reindeer. So the original price for this was also $100, and we got it for $49. So I'm excited to open this up in a few years. With the prices of Legos increasing, this was definitely refreshing to get a deal on a good Lego set. So the moral of the story is keep checking your stores because the clearances are happening. They're trying to get rid of the older stock, make room for the new stuff. Some stores are going to be more fruitful than others, so keep that in mind. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to find me on Instagram where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, toy deals, and all things toy related. I post heavily on my stories when new things drop, so don't miss out. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It is free, and I will see y'all in the next toy hunt.